over here. Wet. At the farm, at the farm neighbor, yeah. Yeah, and uh, he had the dual stall locks in his house. Dual stall locks, what, explain that to us, would you? Dual stall lock that, that slipped into the door. Oh, okay. And uh, it was bad, and he, from the lumber yard in Lakota, Iowa, he got a new lock for it. Uh -huh. And he had it in there for a couple years. Yeah. There, then it didn't want to work anymore. Uh-huh. That took it open. Oh, they made them things so cheap inside. Oh, yeah? So I got, uh, he had an old lock there. So the piece, the one piece that broke, uh -huh. <laughs> the old lock, it, it would work in there, that piece. So I took that piece out of the, that was good out of the old one and put it in that new lock. And then I got it working for it. Good man. You you are the man, I tell you. Oh, and then I got to tell you another one. I worked in the Widow St. Joe's school. Yeah. The priest, he liked me, he said, when I tell you to do something, you, you know right away how to do it, he said. Uh-huh. <laughs> and, uh... Let me guess, you were very good in mathematics, too. Not real good. Not real good, but you were decent. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh... You were better in mathematics than in English. Which yeah. one did you like better? Geometry or writing? I never had much for geometry. I never learned. No. That. Okay. <laughs> wow. He's uh, still good. <laughs> yeah. They had to... Yes. The back door in the school, mm -hmm. the latch didn't work right, and there were such old doors in the school, and you can't couldn't get parts for them. Right, and they don't make good stuff anymore. So I took the lock open. And I told the person, I think I can make a piece. Right. Yeah. So you make, I, the I piece make the piece that was bad. I made a piece that was bad in the door, and I don't know, made it this day at the school. God, that. that's amazing. What? <laughs> That's, yeah, yeah. It's, it, it, and, and the worst is that you need to believe the stuff because you know it's true. Because you know. You know. Yeah. Like. Yeah. It's like he's from Mars. We're not from there. But you know, it's a different world. It's a different world. Yeah. These days, you know, I have a, a fancy refrigerator that costs almost $2,000. So, okay, okay. A little, there's a little flap that you have that, that, that kind of, as you open the fridge, it's going to get flat this way, and then when you close it, it closes and gets this way. So the spring broke. Mm -hmm. The spring, so you can't close the door anymore. So what most people do is, well, they, do. they call for a new fridge, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. I need a new fridge, you can't close the door anymore, right? Right. So my solution is, I get a little rubber band and a little bottle of ketchup there, and I hook the two up, and you know, when you, it, it does the job of the spring that broke. <laughs> you know? Oh, man. You know, and it's working perfectly. Every three months I have to change the rubber band because it gets old, but, <laughs> <laughs> but it works. It works. It works. It works. Then you talk about me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Toast to that. Toast to that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, what's the saying? Necessity is the mother of all creativity or all inventions or something like that, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I like that. I like mm -hmm. to make and invent things. Mm -hmm. I should show you tomorrow. I made a, I made a tree stump grinder, grind off tree stumps. You made one. Yeah. Those things cost five thousand dollars new. Yeah, they cost a lot of money. Oh. Yeah. I made one. I used it at my son in law ground office tree stuff. Good grief. Mm -hmm. I've used those before. I know how, how much I mean that's a serious machine. Yeah. Jesus. What did you use to make the, the rotating blades thing? I bought a a ten inch uh, sprocket. Used, I'm sure. No, I bought a new one. Bought a new, okay. I bought a new because I couldn't find a new one. Uh -huh. So then I, I bought the, the brackets and the cutters from a DR stump grinder. Okay. That cost me the most. It did. Which and was I, how much, approximately? 300 bucks. 300, okay. Uh, yeah. And, uh, so those are the parts that they actually replace when the machines go bad, or something like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. So I uh, I took this, I bought the sprocket and then I bought a welder hub. So uh -huh. I put the hub in there. Yeah, yeah. Welded it tight. Sure. And I, I made the frame. Yeah. And uh, the handles are from a rototiller. Sure, sure. So. And, uh, but of course you need an engine. What do you use? Like what a so, uh, diesel engine, gas no, engine? No, I had a gas engine. Gas so then, engine. Uh, then I went and 
I, you buy new metal different times from the sure. place and do it. The Fowlers, was well, they, they close the doors now. But, uh huh. But he, I knew his, uh, the main boss for years. Yeah. And uh, and his brother was working there. And whenever I went, we had a lot in common. We talked about all kinds of things we did. Yeah. And uh, I said I want to make a stump grind. I want to. I used a twelve, fifteen horse motor. Mm-hmm. And uh, he got to think. He said, Well, I've got a couple of bricks and scrap motors. He said, I know the one runs, but I know mm. about the other one. And he says they're very now rough. this is a small motor. This is like five, six horsepower. Uh, 15 horse. That's about that tall. Oh, 15 horse, you said? Yeah. 15, oh, okay. 20 horse. Oh, it's a big one. Okay, a yeah. big one. And he said, I can't sell them because they ain't electric start. And he says, I uh-huh. don't use electric start anyhow. I just use a rope pole to start. Uh huh. So he says, if you want them, you can have. Mm-hmm. So he gave me the engine. He gave you. Oh, how nice. Give me two engines again. Wow. Wow. So that was nice. You yeah, were but, nice to people, I can tell, because people don't, just don't do that, you know. You were nice to people, and they were paying you back yeah. in some ways. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Yeah. yeah. Now, okay, let's change the subject. Now, okay. this, is a, this is a little bit tougher question for you, if you don't mind me asking. Go ahead, try it. What? <laughs> I mean, you had a very good life, a lot of children. What are... Let's just stick to the three things in your life that made you the most happy. Well, I, I, just, I guess I just felt good I could do so many different things and, and things come to me easy. Yeah. Mm. And, uh, and I got along good with my wife and we had a good time. We did yeah. a lot of things together. Yeah. And uh, we learned to share. Yeah. So it, uh, she died how many years ago? Uh, six years ago. Six years ago. So she was about 80 or so, or thereabouts, a little younger maybe. 78, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So that's two things. You knew how to do things a lot, and you, you got along with your wife, family, and so on. What would be the third thing? Yeah, what are you Yeah, she never, she was not a complainer either. Mm-hmm. She was just, not a whiner, yeah. No, no, mm-hmm. she, this was always a patient lady. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, yeah. 17 yeah. children, and that's a lot of yeah. patience. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'd say. Yeah. yeah. Different times when yeah. she, she'd sit down on a couch at night or something. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Man, they were sitting on her shoulders and they were sitting on her lap. They were oh sitting my God. Of kids. Oh <laughs> my God. <laughs> oh and it God. never stopped. The chores never, ever stopped. You know, and she, when she used to wash, she, every day she'd wash about. Every about day. Six, every day she'd wash about six. Washing machine loads of clothes. Well, diapers oh alone. Diapers alone was about twenty-eight a day, right? Yeah. Six <laughs> loads of clothes. Yeah. A and th- this a is day. an old ringer no, type thing, right? This no, is this not. Was automatic oh, washing. oh, it was an automatic. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> did did you go to the so did you at your farm? At your farm, did you just? farm corn and soya beans did you also have pigs and cows and chicken yeah we had a lot of chicken we sold a lot of eggs i, I gotta tell you good one. when we had all them kids i sold <laughs> eggs to pay the hospital bill i said boy nowadays the hospital bill you'd have to oh uh, sell a lot of eggs to pay the hospital bill nowadays <laughs> you'd need a lot of chicken to <laughs> toast Hold, toast what? toast toast <laughs> toast <laughs> julius we, uh, wow we, uh, the doctor we had was Dr. Peckos from Lost Nation. Okay. The first time we got married, I lived in Lost Nation. I did mechanic work. For Lost the, Nation yeah. is where? That's up that way. So That's a town. Southwest. Okay, yeah. a town. And, okay. Uh, he always, he delivered every one of the kids. Uh-huh. And he always had our family picture on his refrigerator. I beautiful. see. That's beautiful. And, uh, he never, I never knew how we sat with him. He never sent us a bill on different times. I said, what wow. a boy. He said, we never had the bill figured out. Wow. He says, all you do is make sure you get the hospital paid. And the hospital bill at that time, you could get by for 150 or so. Wow. For a kid. And, uh, yeah. So he then gone this day. We never knew how we stood there. Oh, my God. That is just beautiful. Yeah, it was. That is beautiful. Gosh. Yeah. that You know, it's so invigorating to hear those stories, you know. It's really, I mean, you just don't believe those things almost, you know. Yeah. If you read in the newspaper today, you almost say, yeah, right. Yeah, he's making this up, right? Yeah, yeah right. Wow. So, how, that's a lot of eggs to pay for your children. 
how many a ch a chicken on average kind of you had? 150, 10? We had 300 hens. 300. We'd get, if they were laying good, we'd get a 30 dozen egg case for a day. Can you repeat that again? 30 dozen eggs? A day. In a day all 30 eggs. dozen in one day. Yeah. That's a lot of eggs. It is. That was, a lot of egg. that was a lot of egg cleaning. Mm. Wow. And that was a lot of feed. So you made your own feed for the chicken? or you? Yeah, we raised our own corn and oats and stuff, and we did eat our own feed. Just bought a little commercial feed on the side. You did, com you did buy some commercial yeah. feed, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I used to have uh, 90 sows. We, I used to sell a lot of feeder pigs. 90 sows. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Boy, you had your hands full, all right. Toast, yeah. <laughs> toast, toast, toast. You're been toast, toast, all toast, bro. Here toast, <laughs> yeah. Toast, toast, Julius. Toast, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Caesar. Yeah. <laughs> Julius Caesar. <laughs> He's calling you Julius Caesar now. <laughs> that ain't the first time I've called him. I like it. I like it. Boom. Boom. There you go. Wow. I mean, like, what time did you get up in the morning? On average, like, everyday type thing. Always. During the summertime when it was busy. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. I'd get up about maybe 5.30, 6 o'clock. 5.30, 6 o'clock. And you went to bed at 9, 10. Yeah. Exhausted, I'm sure. Yeah. 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 Pretty long day. Long day. Long day. It was not eight hour days like you do in the factory. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So how old were you when you took your father's farm over? Approximately. I mean you don't have to be exact here. Were you 30, 25, 45? I've been I think I was in my thirties. Thirties. For sure. By then you already had six or eight children. Yeah. Dang. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How many kids did you have? Seventeen. Yeah, you you've been to work. Work. One wife, my dude. I mean, there work. was a family. I grew up yeah. in Nebraska, and my grandma's best friend had sixteen. Mm -hmm. yeah. sixteen. Well, Mr. Julius here yeah, outdid her. Yeah, you outdid him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And uh, first, we was married. We used to milk cows by hand. We used to milk, oh my milk God. about five cows. How many cows? Five cows. Each one of so you had cows, you had sows, you had 300 laying eight chickens. What else do you have? Sheep? No sheep. No sheep. We had a lot of stock cows. We had cows right now. Stock cows meaning for meat. Yeah, for meat. So you had five milking cows and how many stock cows? We usually approximately. Usually had about 40 stock. 40 stock. What? Wow. You had a lot, and of course a garden, right? You had a garden, right? Yeah. I had, I'm a big gardener. So tell me about your garden. Who cared for the garden? Well, the wife helped. The, the wife, wife helped, yeah. No, yeah. I, did, I did a lot of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, I used, I, I, I farmed the land and I did a lot of mechanical work on the side Yeah, all oh, for other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 right, to right. Make, make extra money. That's sure, made sure. You had a lot of clothes to put on those children. That's right. And different ones said, how could you afford to buy clothes and shoes from Yeah, them? right. Well, we never spent that Can much. Can you imagine how uh, We got so much given to us. People sure, give, sure. People gave us big yeah. garbage bags full of yeah. clothes. Yeah, right, old and shoes or whatever, yeah. And, and the, the kids didn't learn to share. Just, yeah, and it passed from one to the next, yeah. right? I mean, the shoes didn't wear out, so, you know, the 10-year-old passed to the 8-year-old and so on. Yeah. Right, right. Then we used to, when the kids were young, we went to a church. Wait, we took all seven of the church. church. Wow. We took up all that was quite <laughs> a scene. You took like one fifth of the church up. Yeah. Like you don't think about. Oh my God, that's amazing, Julius. That is beautiful. That's beautiful, man. That's really. Wow. Wow. Oh God! Eat, eat! I, I, I have kept you from eating. I'm, I'm gonna stop this. So.